welcome to the ASUS ROG YouTube channel. Uh, we're proud to go ahead and showcase uh, the new flagship in NVIDIA's GPU lineup based on the Furby architecture. This is the ASUS GTX 590. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit of an overview and uh, some detailing on the actual feature of this card. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging and see what this card brings to the table. So one, we've got ASUS's award-winning voltage tweak technology. This allows for superior overclocking through adjustment of the V-Core. 3D Vision Ready Support. This is actually enabling 3D Vision Surround. So you can have 3D gaming on either one panel to as many as three panels. Out of the box ready. This is due to the dual GPU and I-O connectivity on the card. SLI support for those users that are looking to pair two GTX 590s together for quad SLI. A massive three gigabytes of frame buffer for high performance, especially in anti-aliasing. This is available via the two GPUs. And then DirectX 11 done right, featuring such technologies as tessellation. All right, let's go ahead and unbox this guy and see what uh, we've got inside here. So as always, ASUS prides itself on its packaging of its cards. So. Let's take a look and see how that is. We've got a nice foam padding insert here, make sure everything's protected. If, uh, change things up a little bit. Now we have the CD in the center. Let's see what we have inside here. We've got our speed setup, which is essentially our manual and quick installation guide. We then have the VGA manual on disk as well. Please feel free to go to support.asus.com to download the latest version of Smart Doctor and uh, go to nvidia.com to download the latest version of the GeForce drivers. Let's see what else we got in here. All right, one, we've got our H, excuse me, a DVI to HDMI adapter. We've got our DVI to VGA adapter. And we've got our power adapter uh, from 8 pin here to uh, dual 6 pin. All right, let's lastly take a look here at the card itself GTX 590. So here we have the GTX 590 itself. You can see here from power connectivity, we've got dual 8-pin, SLI bridge for quad SLI, and three DVI ports, as well as a mini display port. The three DVI ports allow for native 3D vision surround and your normal by 16 interconnect. All right, so we got our uh, ASUS GTX 590 here, and we're gonna be taking a look at the overall kind of dimensions and the look and fit of it on a modern, duration mother, modern generation motherboard. So let's go ahead and uh, pop this guy down and see what it looks like. So we've got our GTX 590 part. We have a standard ASUS GTX 580 part. And we're going to go ahead and see what that looks like in comparison to each other. As you can see, overall, not too much of a difference. Pretty similar. A uh, little bit longer overall, but in most situations, it shouldn't impact uh, usage in a good quality uh, mid-tower to full-tower chassis. What we've gone ahead and done is loaded up a test system here. So we've got our Rampage 3 Black Edition, the ASUS GTX 590, um, Golf Town 12-core series processor powering the system as well. And we're going to go ahead and, and run through a benchmark, Alien vs. Predator, uh, with essentially all the settings max enabled. And we're going to go ahead and do a comparison run versus that in the GTX 580. So we've already gone ahead and done the GTX 580 run, so let's take a look at what our result is going to be. And so we can see here at uh, the resolution of 1920 by 1080 with uh, all these settings enabled, we go ahead and have an average frame rate of 70.5. So we're going to see if we can go ahead and break 100 frames uh, with this GTX 590 part. So let's go ahead and run Aliens vs. Predator. Alright, so Alien vs. Predator is loading up here. Now one of the key reasons why we've gone ahead and picked this benchmark is because it showcases a number of the advanced uh, game rendering techniques uh, that can be exploited by the Fermi architecture such as tessellation, uh, advanced type of anti-aliasing, and other types of effects. So we're definitely uh, putting it under load here and, and, and really pushing it to see the type of performance that we're looking for. All 
Okay, so the Alien vs. Predator run has completed, so let's go ahead and take a look at what our new performance number is going to be. And we can see we definitely broke the 100 frame rate. We have 105.2, so we have a significant increase by going over to the GTX 590, so really cementing its performance leadership when it comes to enabling the highest level of gameplay with the highest level of image quality. For you guys that are interested in real world gameplay, we've gone ahead and loaded up Battlefield Bad Company, so one of the premier DirectX 11 titles on the market featuring a lot of advanced effects uh, such as tessellation, advanced AA, and atroscopic filtering, a whole, whole bunch of those type of uh, high level IQ settings. So as you can see here, we've gone ahead and loaded it up. We have pretty much everything maxed out, 1920 by 1080, overall quality set to advance, everything manually selected pretty much up to the peak. So we're gonna go ahead and now do a little bit of a run through and see what our uh, FPS or our overall performance is uh, when running on a GTX 590 part.